Welcome back to the Redby Show. I'm here with actor Neil Brown Jr. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well. Good. So I know you've been uh, doing this show, SEAL Team, and we've been talking about this on the first segment, but there's also some other shows and movies and things that you've been Who, me? also busy with. <laughs> <laughs> so many of them, actually. Yeah, I've been very fortunate. Yeah. So, so there was this British detective show. Uh, Dirk Gently, Holistic Detective. The Dirk Gently, Holistic Detective. So this is like a magical sci-fi type of... I think it's all of that. Yeah? It's, it's, it's all of that. Um... You know, Max Landis wrote it along with Arvin Ethan David, and um, I was fortunate enough to be a part of it. And it's on BBC, uh, right? BBC America, yeah. Okay. Correct. And then it was on Netflix outside of America. Everywhere outside of America, just not in America. And that's really? on Hulu. You can watch both seasons, uh, both seasons, as in the first season. And um, I got to be partners with uh, uh, actor Richard Schiff from the West Wing. Uh, he taught me so much about the work, acting, about playing a partner, um, nuances to put into the character. So it was a, a, a really great experience. Elijah Wood, everybody on this show, Fiona Durf, everybody was great. Elijah Wood, uh, I love him, he's so great. Yeah, and he's a, a beautiful, beautiful individual. He's a really good dude. That's yeah. cool. So so when you say you were learning about being a partner and learning tricks from him or, or secrets of acting, like what are some of the things that you took away from? He always liked to be busy. He, he, uh, he always likes to take the story that happens before this moment that we're capturing. He likes to take whatever was there into this scene, which is life. I mean, before you came here, you were doing something. <laughs> and do you just leave it at the door? No. He's like, so something simple. He's like, we're on a stakeout. So before I got here, I was hungry. So he's like, give me a bib and some food and some stuff that I can just make, play around with so he can just be just finishing up eating in the scene because that's what he was doing prior to when you see him. And it adds in life and comedy and um, always being present, um, you know, not perfect. Something I also learned from David Boreanaz. Uh, I've been fortunate, all the actors that I play partners with, if, you know, they've gone before me so they're able to um, give me a lot of information and uh, show me some, some different things that I may not be abreast of or I, I may have forgotten. Uh, and, and that's what I do this for. I like to keep learning. So uh, Richard I, was great at that. That's so cool. That's something I really like about you because you don't, you know, you're not like, I already know when I'm the best and, you know. Oh, God, no. There's no. people out there, though, who just, um, I think, stop trying to learn and think they already know everything. Oh, or, no. You know no, what I'm saying? No, like, no, it's no. good to always be learning. I mean, and otherwise, why are you here? You know, um, uh, infinite discovery, especially this job that I do. That's one of the reasons why I love it. I get to be a child for the rest of my life. And, you know, children, as you see them growing up, everything is new and it hits them and you can see the wonder in their eyes. And that's what I love about my work. I love finding those new things and uh, getting that sense of wonder because it, it keeps magic alive in your life. Yeah, you get to just be part of imagination, really. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. I love discovering. I always explain um, this job when I did Straight Outta Compton. Um, people were like, oh, well, you feel like you've arrived and you've learned something. I said, no. Well, here's what happened is I was in this house, this big, beautiful house, and I, I got to know every nook and cranny of that house and, and walk through it blindly at a point. I got so good at it. And then getting Straight Outta Compton and doing it was like opening up the door to that house and realizing I was in the foyer of a mansion the whole time. <laughs> and, and, and I have so many more rooms, <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of those, what I thought was a house, hundreds and hundreds of those to explore and to learn. So um, I love any job that, that, that continues to open my mind up to uh, new things. And challenging you. And, and, and like I'm sure SEAL Team does too, because you've had to learn how to do stunts more. And, yes, and, yes, I've been. Yeah. And work out like you're super buff. <laughs> 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 No. I've seen I've seen the Instagram. Okay, we know uh, <laughs> he's been going to the gym. You got well, you got to represent these guys, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I think they're more functional muscles than I mean what they're wor working for. They're all super strong, um, but like I said, the strongest things are mine. Uh, but they they're much more functional. They're not running around with rippling abs all the time because they need that a little bit of that fat to keep them going if they can't eat for five days. Yeah. Um, um, but they're... That's a good excuse. I'm going to use that one. Yeah, you <laughs> should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell my trainer tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. you look great. Come on. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've been fortunate. I've done a lot of films and uh, about the military. My first film was a military movie, Tigerland, with uh, Colin Farrell and um, Matt That's... Davis, Clifton Collins Jr., all those. They, they were all still f friends, uh, Clifton and, and my cousin Tori Kittles, all those guys uh, we did for Joel Schumacher. And... Um, 
we went through a boot camp there and I did Battle of Los Angeles and we did like six, seven weeks of boot camp there. And um, so this was all very familiar. I did a movie Sandcastle boot camp there in Jordan. Um, and each time I go to one of those boot camps, I always go and say, I don't know nothing. Don't, you know, I, I, I'm zero, I'm an empty cup. Show me what to do. How do I hold a gun? <laughs> Even though I've done it thousands of times and I grew up hunting and fishing. Um, but if you come to someone empty, you can always learn. If you come full, you can't learn anything. And like I said, what's the point, right? Um, so I got to learn a, a lot of stuff of what they do, and, you know, the fast roping, the, the water. The water would be nice today because it's hot. <laughs> but, uh, you mean swimming? Swimming. Lots uh, and of, holding your breath underwater and Yeah, all well, they, you know, I'm not scuba cert certified, so when we do, I have an amazing stunt double, um, but he doesn't get to work very often because I do all my own stunts. Do you? Except when it comes to, like, scuba stuff yeah. and, like, fast, like, fast roping out of the actual helicopter. And, um... Uh, parachuting. I don't know what you know, I well, I do all my own too. I mean, I go out of the helicopter all the time. Oh, I dig it. You know what I mean? I dig it. You have the hair for it. I <laughs> okay, well, we have to take another quick break, but we'll be right back with Neil Brown Jr. Okay, so I'm talking with Neil Brown Jr., but we have more to say. So click on our next video right here.